Well, you two, you made it. What a ride and way to be patient. His plan is not always easier, but it is always better. Stay. I'm proud of you two, not just for your patience, but for your commitment to do things right. Stay. As Paul shares with us all, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We're encouraged to live knowing he's got this. Don't say you have to go. And we get to step into all this uncertainty, from a pandemic, to marriage, to getting married in a pandemic. <laughs> See, these two fine young people bring me back to my first year at Malibu Club Young Life in British Columbia. home from Malibu uh, talking about Carson he lit up he was kind of like a different person and I mean I've seen Drew like be passionate about a lot of things but um, him talking about you and the way he's talked about this moment and leading up to this weekend that's the guy you're getting the guy that is passionate about you in this relationship but also the guy that He's patient and he's a strong guy. Drew here was one of my first interns uh, for the first year and second year. And without his expertise as a waste and disposal engineer, trash boy, a uh, trash man, excuse me. I would have been buried in it. Seriously, this full-size young man took that department and led many other young men through hard, dirty work, and even better, what it looks like to be a follower of Jesus. It wasn't long before I learned his abilities and passions were not just in waste management, but even more so in building projects. In fact, it wasn't unusual that I would find him in there after hours finishing a project. Now along comes sweet Kirsten as a summer staffer in the retail department. Kirsten and her month of serving quickly became a standout. I think Drew thought so at this point too. Super capable and has an authentically sincere care for all those around her. Second year comes along and Drew returns and Kirsten fills a role as intern in the guest services ropes department, which leads to today. So we love days just like this one, where we see two interns who obviously share the same heart in serving and commitment to their Lord to get married. God, thank you that we get to come here today and just fully celebrate them. Uh, pray that you just give him patience and peace in what's about to happen because it's so great. Lord.
By the power vested in me by the great shade of Texas and our God above, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It is my great honor and absolute delight to introduce you all to Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Scruggs.